we're going to make mushroom duxelle. We're using one pound of mushrooms, domestic mushrooms, five ounces of shallots. The seasoning will be done at the end because this is a reduced item and if you season it now it might come out too salty or too spicy with the pepper. You cut the mushrooms in quarters to make it easier for the Cuisinart and the shallots also. Pulse it a little, it mixes it up and just let it run. This has to be very fine. This is used in making primarily all type of Wellington dishes. You might have to help the Cuisinart a little bit by just going in there and turning this a little bit and then letting it run. This is kind of a dry mixture, so help it along. Put in three tablespoons of butter in a skillet. And then put this puree mixture of mushrooms in there. This is going to take a while to cook down. All the moisture will cook out of it and we'll have a fairly dry mix. And then we'll go about seasoning it. We'll add a little sherry, a little brandy at the end. And then I'll let you know what the yield will be on this and what you can, how much of a certain item that you can make with this. It might seem like a lot, but don't forget, this is going to cook down. Start off with a high flame and then reduce it down to a moderate flame. As I said, this will take a little while to cook. Give it a good mix. And we're going to lower the flame in a minute and just let it reduce. Notice how it's reducing. Not a high flame now. This will take some time and I'll let you know how long it takes. See, we're 10 minutes into the cooking and it hasn't reduced much. We're going to add two tablespoons of brandy at this point. Notice how wet the mix is. When we're done, we need it fairly dry. Well, it's almost done. As you see, there's very little moisture left and this has taken almost 20 minutes but it's still not ready. This mix has to be dry. If not, then its application later, whether to stuff a piece of veal chop with a Mornay sauce over it or a Wellington, we don't want the wetness in there from the mushroom. We only want the flavor. Okay, we're just about at the 25 minute mark. And as you see, now it's done. How can you tell? It's starting to stick a little bit to the pan. Not burning, just sticking. That means the moisture is gone. We're going to add one tablespoon of sherry. An eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. We'll give it a mix and we'll taste it. It might need more seasoning. This is done. What do you do with this now? After it cools down, you put it in the refrigerator. If you're going to make something tomorrow with a, a Wellington type dish or anything else, it's fine. Two days from now, it's still fine. I added another quarter teaspoon of salt. This is fine. After this cools down, after it's refrigerated, you can also add some goose liver pate to this, use it for stuffing, and if it was used, if it's going to be used like for kosher, for a kosher wellington, you'd add some, after this is cold, some cold chopped liver to it. Delicious! The yield on this, this would be good enough, a nice amount 
filet of beef wellington about 10, chicken wellington about 10, so you have an idea 